our 2024 Sedona barbecue pit. I'll go over specifications in this video of how it's fabricated. So the grill is fabricated out of 316 steel plate. This particular grill is a dig, meaning it has dual elevating grates, where you can unpin it here to make one grate go up and down. We have really gone through the deck and it is bulletproof. Uh, we have the two fire boxes down here below that feed the upper cooking chamber so it can act as a smoker as well. And you have the bracero over here so if you're doing long cooks you can transfer the coals from this box into that box. If you don't want to fire up the whole grill, you can fabricate a little really great for this where you can put a fire down below and uh, grill burgers and stuff without having to get the big grill going. Alright, so this particular lid is fabricated out of 10 gauge p and metal and on the sides here we have gas shocks that allow you to that assist you in opening it and here's how easy it is to open just push it right about there it takes it over and holds it open inside we have and i'm going to bring the grates up so there's our tool elevating grate system we got two argentine style b grates with the troughs here we do give them an angle up because as you put food on it they'll start to flatten out. So we want to give it a little pre-up just so it can take the weight if you put something pretty heavy on the end. If you notice, we have no chains. So this particular configuration is a drop-in. You just simply push it into the opening and uh, it'll be like a range style fit, so to speak, in a kitchen. When you open this, you just lift it up. It comes out, drops down. It's brick lined. Here's your vent system to allow the heat from the lower firebox to transfer into the smoking chamber. And the way the concept or theory is the fire bricks are gonna heat up and it's gonna help even out the heat. And we do put fire bricks in place here. So when you're not using it as a smoker, you got the whole bed there for putting your coals on. When you close this, you just simply lift it up. It gets to a certain point, drops in place. Same thing for this particular door, you lift up on it. There it is. And when you go to close it, you just lift up on it drops in. The fire boxes down here, they're also fire brick lined, so you start your fire directly on it. This is a warming box to keep things warm. You have vents right here that allow the heat to transfer over here, so whatever you have in there keeping warm, you can get heat over to it. So our vents that are on here, they're 304 stainless steel, 316 thick. They'll keep their look for the lifetime of the grill. I'll go over here now to show you how the dual elevating portion works. So you just simply lift up here, you take this little tab out. And at this point, Great mode, you just spin this around to line up the holes and you insert this back in. Lower this one down. We have uh, these little holes right here are made to insert a little kit in there so the shaft can spin pretty freely. As you can tell, we have really cleaned up our dual elevated brake side. We don't have wires outside of the grill anymore. Everything's contained in here to give it a very clean look. I'll bring the lid back down. One hand operation, so our wife's out there cooking, it's very easy for her to open it. Um, again, this is gonna be our 2024 Sedona barbecue pit. We're doing a version of the Scottsdale. It'll have pretty much the exact same configuration. If you got any questions, visit our website at www.azbbqgrills.com. Give us a call at 520-622-8335 and we can discuss pricing, lead times, but we appreciate your support. Remember, buy made in the USA. Thanks a lot for looking and have a great day.